Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Nuclear Throne. In the last episode, nothing too particular happened. I honestly don't remember. We were playing with random characters, and uh, I decided that I don't want to necessarily just play with random characters over and over again because that's not always as fun as I'd like. So today, we're going to go ahead and try to make something good happen uh, right off the bat. We're going to go ahead and play as Crystal since, you know, she does have the most health. Uh, it's very easy to make something good happen with her. Plus, with her ability to uh, teleport when she gets thrown butt, it can make uh, some of the later levels really, really, uh, I shouldn't say easy, but much, much easier for sure. Uh, because you can get out of sticky situations very quickly. Which is a surprisingly important thing to be able to do. And we were able to get that crate, luckily. Oh, there you go, thrown butt right away. And there really wasn't anything else I wanted, so I'm totally cool taking it. Uh, we're going to keep rolling with the revolver. I don't know if you noticed, but we did pick up a grenade launcher, which is always a good weapon to have. I'm going to switch out this for the slugger, because I love the slugger. can't believe we just got hit there. So teleport's cool because you can specifically like go in between sections like of the level, which is one of the things I really like about it. So like we can go to there. So it's kind of just like a lot of things in this game. It's really just learning how to utilize an ability. And then like it's kind of cool how... I'm trying to think of how I wanted to explain this. The thing about Crystal's ability to start with is it's a pretty defensive ability where you just literally defend yourself. Whereas uh, in the rest of the game, or whereas the uh, when you add teleportation to it, it kind of becomes a you know form of transportation, a method of movement, if you will. And it kind of makes, that in my opinion is what makes it useful. It's not really defending yourself as much as it is being able to to escape from situations because like the problem with just standing there and defending yourself is you're still in harm's way uh just most of the time you know whatever is trying to kill you isn't necessarily just an onslaught oh my gosh i'm gonna die so there, there have been um some updates uh, that i didn't mention i believe last episode uh stuff that was in the around in the last video but that i didn't really notice until more recently um, one of those things is actually really cool, and that's that uh, the characters all have more specific and unique voice acting. Uh, and I, I use voice acting, you know, kind of sparingly because it's, you know, just a bunch of noises. But, you know, Crystal is a female, so now her voice stuff is, oh god, a little more feminine sounding, which is cool. That way people know what kind of characters they're dealing with. It adds a little more personality to the game. This game already is really strong in the personality department, so I'm not... Oh, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, man. I don't like being this low in health. But I do like having the slugger. So I guess that kind of... Oh. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. So we're going to play as Chris a little more. That was just a really pathetic way to go down. But, you know, the first video of the day... I, d I don't know. Oh, the first run of the day, I should say. First run of 2014, actually. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. It is... 2014 now new year's was yesterday or i guess today technically uh but depending on when you're watching this new year's eve was january 3rd or december 31st really no matter when you're watching this so that doesn't really change anything all right so unfortunately we don't get to level up there but we did get a laser uh pistol which obviously i'm not too big a fan of nice little spot there we could just destroy everybody in one foul swoop of enemies to start here but you know I, I really would like to show off the big statue guy some more I'd like to be able to show what happens when you are able to feed him all the plutonium he needs it is a really cool thing and I don't want to spoil it I don't want to say what happens I'd rather show it because it's pretty cool uh, these are all kind of garbage upgrades so I guess I'll just go euphoria since I never really take euphoria and it's got a happy face symbol on it so I think that's something we can all get behind all right, I need to take out these guys before the bandit comes along. Because these guys can make that fight a little more difficult. Whoa. Oh, God. You know, Euphoria does actually seem to make a pretty big difference. His bullets do seem pretty slow. Which I guess makes sense, since that's literally what they say about it. But, you know, I'd like to get rid of this. I will actually take the shovel. Um, even though I don't love the shovel, because it takes a long time to be able to use again, it is a very strong melee weapon. 
Uh, I just prefer the hammer over it, really, is the big thing. And I will actually take impact wrist. I see that there's an energy weapon upgrade, and it would have been kind of cool to try it. Because I never, ever roll weapon or energy weapons. So this might have been, like, a good time to try it, but, uh, you know, shovel time. I just got to figure this out, like, memorize how long it takes to recharge the shovel. Whoa, we are just demolishing stuff. So the sewers is a great place to have the, the wrist ability because it's just like using a shotgun in these areas. There's these tight corridors. Peeps just going, going flying into other peeps. It's good stuff. Probably should not be relying so much on this shovel, though. I'm really just enjoying watching dudes fly around. Oh, God. Did not even see you there. There's a sneaky monkey. Well, not really a monkey, but you know what I mean. Uh, we are not full on explosives, so I will not take it. Maybe if we had more explosives, I would. And that's really it? Wow. A short level. Oh, wait. I didn't grab that. More bullets. So we are going into the next area with a shovel and a revolver. That does not sound like very good protection. Family. Ohana means family. And family means nobody gets left behind. Oh, I'm gonna die right here. Yep. <laughs> that was bad. Here we go again. Here we go again on my own. You know, I actually, I lied when I said this was the first video of 2014, or first run of 2014, because actually a couple hours ago, no, crossbow. Wow, that sucked. That really sucked. A couple hours ago, I actually recorded some more videos, and wouldn't you know it, uh, the volume was just way too loud on the game, and uh, I could not hear my voice over it, so, oh god, I'm out of ammo. That's bad. How does this even happen? Well, we didn't really grab anything in the other level, so that definitely didn't help. Now we got all these worms. I can't even... I literally have to go just find ammo. It's terrible. And now they're gonna give me a disc gun? Oh, jeez. I really am not a fan of the disc gun. Which really shouldn't be surprising to anyone. Bad start, man. Not fond of this, how this one's going. But yeah, I actually did record a video uh, earlier today, and it did not come out well. So, unfortunately, this is a re-record. Because I'm going to MAGFest, a uh, music and game festival. I, and I need a bunch of stuff to upload while I'm gone. And I figured, why not play one of my favorite randomly generated games, um... Nuclear Throne, since I haven't played it. Wow. I was trying to weave through that. That was a mess. Okay. Here we go. This is the, ur the urn for real. Or maybe not, because I just ran right into that dude's bullet. But yeah, I'm going to MAGFest for the weekend. Uh, hopefully you guys are there. Uh, that way we can hang out, meet up. You can get to know one of your favorite YouTubers. I don't know. I might be someone's favorite, but probably not your favorite. I'm pointing. I don't know who I'm pointing at, but I'm pointing. So this is a pretty ideal start. Uh, we have a sledgehammer, which is really all I need for an ideal start. Sledgehammer is just nicer because it starts off, it's just so much quicker. It takes forever to use the shovel. You know, maybe if I got like melee range upgraded with the sledgehammer would be, or the shovel would be nicer. But the fact is it just takes so long to recharge. It does do more damage though. But I kind of need to be able to, like, run around and panic. But the screwdriver is a little bit too much on the other side of that. Oh, nice. Oh. Ooh, these are all the things I want. But I gotta go melee range. Got the sledgehammer. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. Or whatever you like with your peanut butter and jelly. Oh my goodness. What is happening right now? I'm just gonna run this way. This level is kind of insane right now. Oh, dang. Yeah, I gotta use that ability more. Because it is good. Look at all these fucking dudes up here. What the hell? 
This is insanity. I died. Motherfucker, I died. God dang it. I'm just playing terribly. That's what we're gonna chalk it up to. Can't even blame the game for that last one. But yeah, MAGFest, Music and Game Festival in Maryland. I am driving 11 hours to get there tomorrow, or today, because that's when the video's going up. Uh, I've never driven that long in my life. I'm kind of nervous about it because that is a long drive. I'm just going to deep that a little bit. Uh, Illinois to Maryland's kind of crazy. But, you know, I'm excited. I've never been... I've only been to Washington, D.C. on the East Coast. I guess I've been to Florida. But, I'm, I'm you know, it'll be cool. And I'm excited to hang out with people. Uh, I'm going with Mike Mulbeck, specifically. Uh, Spooter, who makes uh, Paranormal Activity. And he invited me to go with him. Well, I more invited myself. But he's like talking about how he got invited to go. And I figured, well, you probably have some extra passes. And he did. So now I'm going. And I'm gonna run around with a camera and bother everybody. Cause I'm really good at that. I have some interviews lined up, which is exciting. Cause I like being able to interview people. And I just got a new microphone too. Not like for this, not a USB microphone, but like a practical microphone. I would love to get uh, Bloodlust, but I still think that a melee upgrade is the way to go. Even though I've just been making a lot of dumb mistakes. But it's been a long day. You know, I got real drunk last night, New Year's, and I did not really all together. So you'll have to excuse me. If I don't sound quite right. But I had to, I had to record videos so you guys have something to watch while I'm gone. That is a, a must a must have. We have a lot of ammo. I mean, we have like a little bit of everything right now, which is cool. And I would roll with crossbow, but I feel like machine gun is the safer route. So, yeah, that was working well for us earlier. Hammer time! How do they know I have a hammer? Dear God, the game is learning. All right, so uh, I'm just trying to get myself in a spot. Oh shit! Plasma rifle or plasma gun? Plasma rifle. I don't even know what game that's from. Let's see what this does. It actually does not do that much. It just kind of hits things. That's a little disappointing. This is a gun I've never seen before. Uh, just, I don't really see what it does. It kind of seems like the disc gun to me, actually. I'd rather have the machine gun. It's a much safer bet. Hmm. I'm sure... I, I, thought, I thought maybe you could charge it or something. Have a big beam of s stuff. I did not even see that crocodile man who used his shotgun on me. That was dumb. Alright, now we are on to three, which I always have so much trouble here. It's a difficult level, I gotta say. Um, hopefully we can get the statue man to do a cool thing today. If not, you know, it's not the end of the world. But I don't want to get killed by an assassin, I, I have to say that. Getting killed by an assassin is like the worst feeling ever because... It's so easy to keep it from happening, and yet it, it happens all the time. There are difficult enemies, I must I must say. I should have grabbed that, but I didn't want to miss out on any experience. It's probably up here. There we go. I wanted to blow that dude up. There's another assassin right there. There we go. Definitely having melee range is going to help. SMG, no thanks. Not interested. But thank you for the offer. And there we go. That was pretty easy, actually. <laughs> Can we get thrown butt, please? No. But I will take... Bloodlust. Hopefully we can recover a little bit before we get into the next area. Uh... Alright. Don't want to have to deal with the IDPD. I just want to blow that dude up. Yeah. Oh, shit. I really got to use the shield more often because it is so useful. Uh-oh. Oh, IDPD. Leave me alone. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Stop it. I just want to get this dude's portal open. That sounded really inappropriate. 
Don't shoot him! He'll kill us all! Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so bad! Wait, did it open a portal? Did it open the portal? Oh, I didn't even think you could totally just like abuse- Oh, it did! Alright, here we go. Oh, question mark, question mark, question mark. What is this? What have we found here? It's beautiful. Is that a crown? Is that the nuclear throne? It's not, but it is. A little crown, buddy. Vault completed. So we got to a vault. We get to pick our crown. So each of these crowns gives us a different ability. Uh, or they just add a different twist to the game. So this one is Sea of Destiny. Free mutation, narrow future. Which makes sound like we're going to die soon. More enemies. Level, uh, strange levels. Opposite crown. Uh, no ammo drops, more weapon drops. So no ammo, but we get a lot more weird weapons. Which weapons do give you ammo. Uh, rush crown. Pickups fade fast, and they're worth more, which I don't want to do because that'll stress me out. Minus ma uh, one max HP, revenge, don't know what that'll do. And then the crown of life, three HP per level, no HP drops, so you're basically just banking on surviving. And a bear head is a fair head. But I want crown of life. So for every level we finish, we do get extra HP, uh, but I do not see that happening because I'm not that good at this game. So, oh God, okay. We are in. A, we have a really good level for fighting the dog right now. Just need to kill this assassin. So that crown will run around. He doesn't actually do anything, I don't think, though. Uh, maybe this isn't as good of a level for this as I thought. But hey, the birds will give us some HP if they fly over here and let us kill them. Oh, God, I don't want to get blown up. Because that's the biggest threat we have right now. It's getting blown up. Oh, God. Kill it! Kill it! I don't... I wish I knew how much health this dude had. I know it's not as much as I think it is. I keep losing my... Hey, I did it! Oh, that screen shake. And we get a bazooka, but I don't want it. Wait, no, I wasn't... Oh, I wanted to look around some more. Damn. Oh, shit. These are all worthless. Alright, so we're in this area now, which I really hate this place. I will grab the bazooka. Oh, God. Terrible spawn. Terrible spawn. Terrible spawn. Terrible spawn. Terrible spawn. Oh, my God. Terrible. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No! God. Jesus. That was terrible. I didn't stand a chance. There's no way I was going to make it through that alive. Man. Well, at least... Well, actually, I'd like to go ahead and play as someone else now. If you wouldn't mind. Um, so there you go. You get to see now what happens when you do feed the statue. Let's go ahead and play as Melting a little bit. Because Melting can be pretty boss. If you get enough health. And you get thrown butt. I like Melting a lot because it's very... He's a very simple enemy. Or a very simple character. Where you know exactly what you want. Oh my god. I, well, you don't want to die. For, first and foremost. But, you know, the ability that it has is really cool. It's very high risk, high reward. Well, I don't know about high reward. It's the same reward as beating the game with anybody. But it is really fucking cool to blow everything up. Uh, I must say. Definitely one of the coolest abilities in the game. Shotgun. There we go. Throne butt, please. No, no, no throne butt. And that's really useless. So I guess we'll use this. That's really upsetting. Nothing that we could really use. But, because, God, throne butt makes you so good as melting. And it's not even that it makes you good. It just makes it really, really fun to play as melting. the giant ass explosions no I don't want to leave yet there might be something here still or maybe not no experience yeah I did not want to miss on that we didn't get to level up though which I thought we might actually get to but oh well 
I don't know how much farther we're gonna make it here. I keep losing my cursor. Ooh, nice. Stay right there. No! It's... it's God, you just gotta get more health. It's impossible to, like... I mean, I'm not as... I'm not good enough. That's really the problem. To be able to beat this game without taking any damage. No! <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Plus, it's, I don't think I ever noticed, but they, they're like, they have a little ghost that floats up when you die in this game. Has that always been there? See the little ghost? Or is that just something the melting has? That's super depressing. Alright, I need some more weapons, please. Oh god. Wait, slugger. Thank you! Nothing. Nothing useful. <sighs> Bullshit. Get that experience. It wouldn't be so bad if, like, it wasn't just one shot and you're dead. You know? It wouldn't be as bad. Well, obviously it wouldn't be as bad. But I'm literally just saying facts. I'm not even giving opinions. Yes. But the other thing that's really useful when playing as Melting is the, uh, oh, what's that called? I, for I always forget, the Plutonium, oh my god. Seriously. Uh, whatever it is, I can't remember what it's called, I always forget what it's called, but when you eat the, uh, when the, um, I say you eat because that's what the symbol is for it. Is it plutonium hunger or something like that? I think it is. Because a lot of times what will happen when you start blowing stuff up is you'll kill a bunch of dudes like that are all real far away. Oh my gosh. Son of a bastard. Literally. And I'm getting all the stuff I want too, like weapon-wise. I've been getting a lot of sledgehammers. But I like lose them immediately. Might as well get some more explosion fun here. I'm not going to use it, but I have it. And I would like to level up, please. See, like, that's fun. Blowing up those things. Rhino skin, awesome. That's what I've been wanting. Maybe now I can actually get a run that goes past the first fucking area. Now I just need throne butt. And I will be happy. I think he should have three HP though. Just so he could take more than one hit, but I can not I just feel like that's kind of an unfair way to balance it. You know, it's not like, I don't know how else they would balance it though. Cause it's a really good ability. Oh God, all right. Let's grab this assault rifle here. Blow shit up! I don't think I realized that this guy did three damage per hit. Oh, okay, I want my revolver back, actually. <laughs> so much chaos. Yeah! Fuck everything. This will probably be the last run of this episode, because I feel like I've been recording for a <gasps> No! Oh, I didn't get the fucking t t tube. I didn't expect to kill everything like I just Oh, shit. That was really close. <sighs> okay. Fuck you.
Oh, gross, 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 gross. That's a new enemy. Oh, God. It's like the dudes that run around. And then they blow up when you kill them. But instead, when they're running around, they continue. Like those things, those green dudes. But instead, they continuously produce gas. And then they explode, like, much, much bigger. <laughs> they're dicks. I think the only thing... I, I don't know. I, I guess... I feel like almost... The only way to really even make him a more fair character is if you made it so that the explosions hurt. But I also feel like that would take a lot of the fun out of it. But I feel like when you balance a game, a big part of your job is to make it, quote unquote, less fun. I don't know. Actually, I don't actually agree with that. Never mind. You just stood there and took it like a real man. But I do not want to keep this screwdriver, for the love of God. Oh, we're so screwed. We didn't even get... I do not like this run. Yeah, that sucked. Oh, wait, that was the last one, wasn't it? God dang it. Well, I have to go now. I have to keep playing. I mean, I... Okay. Anyway, that's going to be all for this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Repanda Gamer. Uh, there will be more Nuclear Throne for the rest of the weekend. I'm going to be recording a bunch. So if you're at MAGFest, be sure to come say hello. Uh, I look forward to meeting any and all of you who may be attending. And uh, be sure to check out Nuclear Throne on Steam Early Access. But I'm Repanda Gamer. Like this video, favor this video, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do forget to share love. I'm Repanda Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.